I wanted to follow up on that technique if I hit command Y again. And select here. You'll see here is my stroke width. So as an example, if I come over here, and every time I hit the down arrow, it's going to make it smaller. If I hold down the shift key, it'll do it in 10 point increments. So you can get different looks to your stroke. So basically, you started out with this, and then basically hold down the shift key. And again, it took it off the uh, cap. So you want to give it a cap, and then make sure your cursor's in there. Hold down the shift key and you can get it exactly looking like the one on the right. Again, this is just working smart, one step at a time. If you're serious about learning this the right way and you want to save time learning Illustrator, and more importantly, I want you to get to the point of understanding how Illustrator thinks, and that's what I do. That's my training method. I've been teaching marketable software since 1987. I started out teaching myself Adobe Illustrator. And I got so good at it that by 1991, Adobe would fly me out to California to teach their staff the best way to use Adobe Illustrator. So if you're tired of wasting hours and hours and days on bad techniques, let me engage you in the process of working smart online, more importantly, thinking the way Illustrator thinks. Illustrator is nothing more than a software. Software is a language. You have to understand the language, how it thinks, the syntax, the nouns. Then you can cohesively put together a constructive sentence. So once you start unleashing the power of Illustrator by understanding how it thinks. So subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, thinkillustrator.com.